So um, Ruben's going to answer his any questions in English in English and any Portuguese questions in um, in Portuguese. And then Matt, I think the Portuguese question answers will be translated. English question uh, English answers don't need to be translated. Yeah, it's like into English. Yeah, yeah. So we'll start with a Portuguese journalist followed by broadcasters followed by um, print journalists. Let's start us off. Ruben, uh, João Pedro, na RTP. Ruben, uh, olhando para esta competição e olhando para as equipas que estão uh, nesta, nesta fase de grupos, o Wolverhampton tem como objetivo vencer esta competição? E outra pergunta seria se gostavas de um dia cruzar com o teu clube de coração, o Porto, nesta, nesta Liga Europa? Ah, só a segunda pergunta, não penso nisso. Penso no, no nosso grupo, nos jogos que temos pela frente e principalmente no jogo de amanhã que é o mais importante que é, que é o próximo contra, contra o Braga vai ser um jogo difícil o uh, nosso objetivo é vencer uh, cada jogo e não pensar muito à frente porque o importante é mesmo o presente uh, A question from uh, João Pedro from RTP uh, was that uh, being in this competition uh, the Europa League, uh, the group phase do Wolves have the objective target of winning this competition? And also uh, for Ruben, uh, is he thinking about uh, meeting later on in the competition uh, the club, you know, his childhood club of his heart, uh, FC Porto? Uh, no, not really. My main focus is on the group, on the team. Uh, you know, we've got these games ahead of us in the group phase, and the most important thing is the game tomorrow against Braga, which is an important game. Uh, and it, our objective is to win this game. Uh, we take it; it'll be a difficult game, and. Uh, we're going game by game. Hey, hey. Viva. Olá, boa noite. Uh, Fernando Ricardo Tiro. Um, Perguntava-lhe porque há muita gente em Portugal que se chama nesta altura um, para ver o Wolverhampton cá embaixo no campeonato, no social ao uh, momento da, da temporada, mesmo que esteja na Europa. Uh, se nos pode explicar, ou neste caso aos nossos ouvintes, se há alguma razão para, enfim, para vamos a ver o Wolverhampton lá mais acima, se há algum motivo para isso ou que nos possa explicar e também que, que ideia que o grupo tem, o nosso grupo tem sobre, sobre este Sporting Braga que também em termos nacionais não está assim lá, lá grande espingada. Ah, primeiro, um, não foi o início, o início fácil da temporada, uh, começámos com alguns jogos extra uh, de qualificação para, para a Liga Europa. Uh, mas a verdade é que é a Premier League é a melhor liga do mundo. Uh, sabemos que podem haver estes momentos, mas o mais importante de tudo é, é voltar ao nosso nível o mais rápido possível. E é para isso que vamos trabalhar, para voltar às vitórias, para voltar a colocar o Wolverhampton no, no lugar que merece. Uh, em relação à segunda pergunta, toda a gente conhece o Braga, é uma equipa que tem vindo a crescer nos últimos anos na Europa. Uh, portanto, Uh, já temos as informações necessárias do Braga e vamos focar uh, em nós para dar o nosso melhor amanhã e voltar às vitórias que é o mais importante. The question was, you know, many fans in Portugal uh, are looking at Wolves' situation in the Premier League uh, and they're quite low down the table uh, and, you know, that's not where people consider the Wolves should be. So, uh, Despite not being in European competition, uh, uh, the question is about to start in the competition. And the second uh, question is about how much the Wolves team know about Sporting Club Braga. Do they find themselves in a similar situation in the Liga Nice Portuguese League as well? Uh, first things first is uh, it hasn't been an easy start to the, se the season. Uh, we've had extra uh, qualifying games for the Europa League. Uh, and the truth is the Premier League is the best league in the world and you're always going to have uh, maybe these moments in a season uh, and I think uh, we need to return to winning ways as soon as possible and start playing to our level and getting wins on the table uh, and putting Wolves uh, in where they deserve to be. Uh, in terms of the second question, Braga are a team that have been growing uh, quite well and doing well in Europe over the last few years. As a team, we have the information necessary. We focus on our team. Uh, we will do our best tomorrow uh, and uh, get back to winning ways, which is the most important thing for us. Luís Simões, 
Jornal da Bola, como está a estudar. Eu perguntava este caminho até aqui, que, tanto, e é válido para o Braga e para o Valverde, que teve que ser feito para chegar à fase de grupos, eh, torna as equipas mais fatigadas e é daí os maiores resultados nas ligas, tanto um como dois, ou não tem muito a ver? Não, não creio que tenha, que tenha a ver com, com a fadiga, porque nós somos jogadores de, de alta competição, uh, estamos habituados a trabalhar sobre fadiga, a trabalhar com, com muitos jogos nas pernas. Uh, portanto, não creio que, que os jogos de qualificação tenham algo a ver com, com os jogos do campeonato. Uh, sabemos que não temos, não temos feito o início desejado uh, no campeonato. Mas, ao mesmo tempo, sabemos que fizemos uma caminhada linda na, na Liga Europa e que, e que estamos num lugar histórico para, para o Wolves. Uh, portanto, queremos também fazer o nosso melhor nesta competição. Uh, the question is the way that both Wolves and Braga have uh, arrived at the group phase for the Europa League uh, through the qualifying. Uh, does that create some fatigue and tiredness, which then explains uh, the uh, position in the respective tables in Portugal and uh, the Premier League? I don't think fatigue has anything to do with it. Uh, we're all top players, we're used to it, we're used to playing uh, a lot of games uh, in quick succession. Uh, And I don't think uh, the Europa League has to do with our position in the Premier League. Obviously, we haven't had the start uh, that we've wanted, but uh, it's been a beautiful journey into the Europa League. You know, this is a historic moment for Wolves Football Club, and uh, we're going to do our best in this competition. Any broadcasting now here? Ian, Rob, here. Yeah, oh, sorry. Um, it's been, as you say, a brilliant start to the Europa League qualifying but a setback in the last two Premier League games. So, so I just wonder, where would you say the confidence level is amongst the squad at the moment? Well, we, have, um, we have a lot of confidence uh, from the fans, from, from our coach. Uh, we know what we, what we can do. Uh, we proved in the past uh, what we are capable of. So I think um, it's, it's all about improving, improving our game. Um, and uh, get get back the the win on the winning ways uh, as fast as we can. And just finally for me, you mentioned about it being historic. Um, that that feeling when you go out onto the pitch at Molyneux for the first Europa League group game. I mean, can you describe what that will be like for for you as players and also you think for the fans? It's going to be it's going to be amazing uh, for us uh, because the club was. Um, Uh, three years ago was in championship. Uh, we are in Europe now, so it means a lot for us. Uh, it means that we do uh, that we did a great work uh, in, the, in the last two years. Um, and for the fans, I think it's going to be an amazing game. Um, they are not used to to see Wolves in in Europe since a long time ago, so I think it's going to be a, a great game for us. And um, I hope the atmosphere. Uh, it's going to be like usual in, in Molina. <coughs> Ruben, I just wonder um, um, the special significance for you on a personal level of actually playing against Portuguese opponents for the first time in the Europa League. It's, um, it's good for me, it's good for the, the Portuguese players. Uh, we know Braga, uh, my best friend plays, plays in Braga. It's going to be special for me, for, for him as well. Um, but on the pitch, you have your friends, you have your teammates, and you want to, to win. So that's what we, we want to do. Um, focus on our game and try to, to get the first win in, in the Europe group phase. But when you were a player with Porto, what was the local rivalry like between Porto and Sporting Braga? It was um, a good rivalry. Um, the cities are, are close to, to each other, so. I think they are, they are two of the, the big teams in, in Portugal. Uh, so we we know that it's going to be a difficult game uh, tomorrow against Braga. Um, they are they are a, a big club, and uh, I don't think I don't think uh, Porto have to, to come to, to this. I think we have to focus now in in Braga. That is the most important for us because we have a, a, big, a big a big and important game tomorrow. And with six games, of course, in this group stage, the importance of making the most of that home advantage? Of course, yes. Uh, we have to take this advantage for us. Uh, we have uh, a great atmosphere in our stadium. 
so we have to play with that as well. Um, and I know our fans are going to be with us tomorrow, like uh, like they are like they are always. So I'm sure that uh, that uh, we are we we're going to do our best to to get the win. Yeah, I ruined Oliver Reuters. Um, I just wanted to know you, you know, you're renowned for turning up on the big occasions, whether it's a flash of brilliance or an amazing goal. This is a, a new stage here for Wolves and a historic night. Are you hoping to lay your mark on it and, and leave everybody with a, a moment to remember? I think uh, all the players think think about it. Uh, we all try to do our best on the pitch, doesn't matter the competition um, in the team. Uh, our our main objective is help Wolves to, to grow and tomorrow is going to be another game for that, uh, another competition. We are proud that we are playing on Europe and I think uh, all, the play, all the players are thinking and do, and do his best to, to, to the team. Mike? Yeah, uh, Britain, for people here who don't know, maybe uh, they look at Portuguese football and they know uh, Porto and Benfica and Sporting, but for those who don't, Braga are a big deal in Portugal. Yeah, that's what I that's what I said before. Um, uh, they are the, one of the biggest teams in, in Portugal. They they always qualify for for Europe, so they are a good team, and we know them. Uh, we have. Uh, a lot of information now, and we we are working on that to do to do our best tomorrow and uh, try to get to get the first win in Europe. Open up to the print journalist, Neon. Uh, <laughs> Ricardo. The best friend who plays uh, for Braga is Ricardo Orta. Uh, Ricardo Orta. Um, o facto de o Alvarampa estar agora na, na Liga Europa também se deve ao facto de tantos jogadores portugueses pertencerem a esta equipa o ano passado e terem essa experiência europeia que permitiu hoje, amanhã, o, o Alvarampa não viver esse dia histórico? Não, acho que tem a ver com, com a equipa, tem a ver com o espírito que se vive no nosso balneário. Uh, os jogadores portugueses, os jogadores ingleses, franceses, temos temos vários jogadores de vários vários países nos funcionamos como como um só uh, não temos não temos problemas nenhum no, no balneário somos um grupo muito unido e muito focado e acho que isso fez, fez toda a diferença nos últimos nos últimos dois anos porque um, trabalhamos todos juntos para para o mesmo objetivo e somos uma equipa muito focada no que, no que desejamos Uh, the question is whether, uh, with the sort of Portuguese element of Wolves and the experience that these players have brought over from Portugal uh, in Europe competition, this arrival at the European, uh, the Europa League for Wolves, uh, is it related to this experience uh, that the Portuguese players have brought to uh, Wolverhampton? No, I don't think so. I think it's a real team effort. It's uh, the the result of our team spirit. Uh, uh, you know what we have in the dressing room. There are Portuguese players, English players, French players, players from uh, a wide variety of nations, and we are one. Uh, we're a great uh, united. We've got a really great united dressing room, and we've demonstrated that for the last two years. Uh, and we're all working uh, for the same objective, and we're very focused. Já agora, o que é que gostava de dizer amanhã no final do jogo ao seu amigo rival? Desejar, desejar uma boa viagem para casa, mas de preferência com os três pontos do nosso lado, não houve. O que você vai dizer ao seu amigo Ricardo amanhã? Eu vou lhe dizer bom voyage, mas espero que os três pontos serão deixados aqui. Tchau. Você mencionou a sua amizade. Como você se tornou amigos jovens juntos? Você jogou juntos? Sim, eu jogou juntos no time de nacional em Portugal. Desde que eu tenho 5 anos, eu jogo juntos. E você tem uma boa relação com as nossas famílias também. Então, é um bom amigo meu. Como você está a ver com a lot of other players there, are you familiar, we've played against them before as well? Yeah, of course, I played, I played against uh, a lot of players uh, when I was in Porto. Uh, I played with some players as well in the national team. Uh, so we know, we know enough uh, Braga and we'll try to do our best, focus on us and uh, try to do our game. Ricardo's uh, scored in every 
the Europe Europa Games for um, Bravo so far. Are you determined to stop that perfect streak for him now? Of course, yes. Not, not, uh, it's not Ricardo. He's uh, tried to, to don't concede any goals. Uh, that's the, the main objective of, uh, of a team. If you don't concede goals, you are closer to, to win games. So that's, that's what we want to do. Um, concede as less goals as possible and try to score. After conceding eight in your last two games, is that a priority a clean sheet in this game and if not at Crystal Palace? It's not, uh, it's not a priority, but it's, it's something that we, we know that we have to, to improve uh, because we are used to, to be a team that don't concede a lot of goals. So we have to work. We are working on that, and I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna be back on our best. Yeah. Obviously, you came over from Portugal in 2017. What's the biggest thing you've learned in, during your time in England from English football? It's the it's the best football in the world. Um, the players, the teams, um, the way the way of, of the games, uh, the atmosphere. It's, it's great to 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 play here, and I I improve so much. And I want to, to improve even more uh, because we have to, to learn every day to, to be better. And how important can the fans be tomorrow night for you? Sorry? Mm -hmm. How important can the fans be? Oh, uh, the fans know they are, uh, they are, our, they are one of us. Uh, they help us so much uh, since, I, since I arrived here. And I hope tomorrow they're going to be with us. Ruben, is there a bittersweet element to playing in Europe when league form has, has dipped? No, I think we, we think game by game. Uh, we know it's a different competition, but we go for the game as usual. Uh, try to do, to do our best, try to play our game and, um, and get the win because we want to win every single game that you have. Uh, so we know, doesn't matter the, the opponent, doesn't matter the competition, uh, we always want to win. And you said earlier that you didn't think kind of the qualifying games had impacted league form. What, what do you put that down to then if it's not the Europa League? No, I think, I think um, all the games are, are important, but I don't think I can, I can say that the, the, Europe, League, the Europe League games um, brought us to, to our position on the league because I think it's not true. Uh, we have uh, a really good squad um, full of uh, brilliant players and uh, we always have to do our best. We know we are not on our uh, best moment in the, in the league. But like I said before, it's all about you bounce back and we have to bounce back as fast as we can. Um, like I said before as well, we are working on that and I'm sure we're gonna, we're gonna do it. There's been a lot of individual errors Ruben, uh, defensively in the last uh, two games. How, how confident are you that um, the players concerned can put those um, behind them? Like I said before, we have confidence for, for, for everyone. We, we show already on the past, uh, on the past that, that uh, we are a great team. Uh, and it's, it's not because of uh, some mistakes that we, we go down now. Uh, we are motivated for, for, already, for what is ahead of us. And uh, we want to, to win tomorrow uh, to start growing. And have teams come up. Have, have teams? Do you think sussed you out at all? Is it is it more difficult to play in the Premier League now this season than the last season? I think I think it's all about it's all about us. Um, we have to improve ourselves. Uh, the teams know us already as well. Um, they they try to to play in a different way against us because they they know what what we can do. But, like I said, we have to, to find solutions. We're going to find solutions and we're going to bounce back. When you go back to Portugal, Ruben, what, is the, what do you get feedback from Portuguese people about rules? Are they interested and want you to do well? Or do they feel you've taken too many Portuguese players out of the country? Honestly, I'm, I'm impressed with, um, with, the Portuguese, with the Portuguese people because all of them know Wolves now and most of them uh, say that Wolves are their team in, in England uh, because we have a lot of Portuguese players and, uh, and that's important for, for the country as well. Oh God. Thank you. Thank you.